all businesses are suffering, small and large. Yeah, just yesterday we learned how much. Retail sales dropped nearly 9% last month for a loss of $483 billion. Channel 9's Genevieve Curtis has been talking with local restaurants doing whatever they can to make it to the other side of this virus. It is all over the windows here in Uptown, closed because of COVID-19. The restaurant and bar industry, one of the hardest hit because of the shutdown. But now Governor Cooper offering the possibility of reopening, but on a smaller scale. Well, you'll see the lines backed up. It doesn't come close to what we were doing on Fridays and Saturdays. Charlotte's favorite kitchen has turned to curbside to stay afloat. Right now, we're definitely in survival mode. At Lulu's Maryland style chicken and seafood, the customers wait down the street for their food and the free bagged lunches for students. I'm thankful for the business that we're getting. The Greater Charlotte Hospitality and Tourism Alliance tells me food and beverage revenues in Mecklenburg County total almost $4 billion every year. They estimate a 70% reduction since the shutdown. One in nine people in the Charlotte area. Work in, work in the hospitality industry. If dining rooms reopen with half as many seats available, some restaurants could put some people back to work. But I would honestly hire more people. If I could have a, look, a few more people come in and we still do curbside, I'm sorry, I think that it would actually make a huge difference. But state rep and economist Wesley Harris says the economic success of partially opened eateries depends on a few things. If people still are going to work from home for an extended period of time, you're going to see the uptown economy in particular is still going to be very sluggish because there's just not going to be a lot of people there. And public safety. If I go out, I'll, I'll be safe. In the days of coronavirus, Lulu's owner Joseph Davis says getting people in the door will depend on what customers will be comfortable with. It's honestly going to depend on how the people react to what it is we're doing. Now, every year, Mecklenburg County collects about $100 million from bars and restaurants in sales tax. And Representative Harris tells me that is going to be the next big question. How are local governments and the state going to handle that budget shortfall?